Hey, how's it going? This is Nick. Uh, hopefully the audio is better because I'm currently in my bathroom, <laughs> bathroom and there's like pretty good acoustics in here. Uh, I started watching a few of my past videos and I realized some of them you can barely hear me. Some of them you couldn't hear me at all when I had my head my headphones on. I thought that was helping the audio. Turns out that wasn't playing any audio. So I apologize for that. Hopefully I sound better. I'm going to listen to this video after it's done and see what it sounds like. But I just remember when I made videos in my bathroom before, they sounded a lot better. So I'm going to try that today. Uh, so last week I weighed in at 189. This week I weighed in at 179.4. I had 15% body fat. I had 16.2% or 0.5 percent water and 46.7 percent muscle mass um so yeah so i got done with a week of uh, dieting uh it felt pretty good um i, I never i never struggled with the diet at all um i'm just kind of used to doing that kind of thing so i never really struggled with that um so yeah so um like here's the thing, I didn't. I only had a 500 calorie deficit, so that means at the end of the week I should have only lost a pound. So it could have been like, my, like my guess is it could have been I was working really hard that week. Um, that could have been it. I was pretty stressed out this week, so that could have been it. And I'll get into that. And uh, and also it's hot, so I feel like I might have sweated some water. So I went. I weighed in at 179. Do I think I'll weigh in at 179 next week or less? I don't know. I don't... I, I can't believe it. Like, I would be so thrilled just to be 179 again next week. Just to maintain a, or maintain, excuse me, a 10-pound loss. Woo! That would be fun. You know, that would be exciting. Do I think it'll happen? I don't know. I really hope so, but we'll see. Um... Because I, I just can't believe I lose 10 pounds in a week. That seems pretty silly goose. Um, and it could be my first week. It could be water weight. Uh, I don't know. But at the same point in time, I, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it, essentially. Um, so, yeah. So, I had a crazy, crazy week. Uh, the first couple of days were fine. Uh, uh, I hate complaining about work, but I just wanted to briefly touch it. So, Monday through, well, I called off Monday, because, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, I thought I was with a, a bad person at work, a bad, like, uh, leader. Uh, I didn't really like them. They were all right, but, you know, I just didn't have fun. <sighs> Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday was the worst, so Thursday... I was with a pretty bad person, uh, they yell a lot, uh, I, I don't know, like, a lot of times I, I have work, I don't really, like, like, I'm not the person to be, like, up and, up and, like, up in your grill, like, I'll do it, I'll do it this job, I'll do that job, I'll be the first, I'll raise my hand, you know, like, I'm like, if you need me, I'm here, <laughs> you know, basically, and he, he wanted me to be, like, right, right up and, you know, wait for, as soon as I can get something done, I could, you know, and I'm just like, ah, oh, man, I'm not that intense, like, I don't, I don't like this job that much. Uh, so he like yelled at me a lot, and I wasn't thrilled with that. But like, I was ready to quit. Honestly, I was ready to walk out of the door. But like now, I can't quit. Uh, so I didn't. And then the next day, I was with someone that I thought didn't like me, and I was like, and it was actually my last day. So um, they're going to hire me on full time, and I'm gonna get into that too. Um, so I'll briefly finish the other one. So uh, I thought it's my last day, Friday. Let me just work hard. Let me just see what it feels like to work hard. I pretty much, I essentially did what I just said I didn't want to do. I was like, I was up in the, up there, you know, ass. I was like, what do you need done? I'll do it. I'm there. I'm here. I'm right here. I'll push hard. I'll, you know, I was, <laughs> that's my dog. I will, I'll do anything, you know. And <laughs> honestly, it went pretty good. <clears throat> they, they weren't, <clears throat> they didn't seem as mad at me as they were, so. I thought, all right, maybe that's something to think about. You know, I don't know if I can do that every day, but, you know, it went well. So, to touch on the full-time job thing. So, I've basically been working for a temp agency for, like, the last 
almost six months. And I still haven't been hired on. I don't have health insurance, that kind of thing. Um, and so if I eventually, they're like, all right, we'll hire you on here at our location. And then the next day, they're like, ah, well, that position's no longer available. So we'll put you on, this, you know, to a different location. I'm like, okay. Ah, uh, that location doesn't work out. Now we're going to take you back. I'm like, okay. Ah, uh, now that one's not going to work out. We're going to take you back to the location. I'm like, ah. okay. <laughs> so they're like, all right, Tuesday, you're going to go to this job. Okay, <laughs> you know, whatever. That day, or Friday, I get a, or I think I got a call like Thursday, and I tried to call them back, but they, didn't get, they, didn't, they weren't available, so I called them back Friday, and it was for another job, which is like my dream job. Like, basically, there's a, like a different company that works alongside us, and uh, I remember the company I worked for, and... Uh, their job is pretty simple. They have to do some work, but it's basically just sitting at a desk, looking at a computer, watching YouTube videos or Netflix for like eight hours a day. <clears throat> and it's like from eight to four and you get paid the whole, the whole time. You don't get, you know, you don't get not paid for lunch or something. You get paid eight hours from eight to four, which is pretty dope actually. Um, so like, yeah, you know, that sounds good. Um, so I got an interview for them Thursday. Originally, they wanted to do it Tuesday, but I, had, I was starting that other job. So I was like, oh, that'd be kind of awkward to miss my first day. You know, that wouldn't look very good. Um, so I moved to Thursday. And then as I thought about it, I'm like, this is my dream job. Why am I, you know, why would I go to this other job for like two or three days? and be like, oh, sorry, I got hired on this other place. I'll see you later. You know, why go through all the training and stuff? So I'm like, you know what, I'm just not going to go to that other one, uh, the the uh, the one that my, you know, former company wanted to hire me on at, and they jacked me around four different ways, so I was like, I'm just not going to go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so basically, you know, it's a Memorial Day weekend, people, you know, get Monday off, I'm going to get Monday off, I'm going to get Tuesday off, I'm going to get Wednesday off, you know, I'm going to get all those days off, but uh yeah, which is, is kind of scary a little bit because if that interview doesn't go well and I don't get a job, then I don't have any jobs, and then I'm like kind of like shy, so now i got to find a job. Hopefully that doesn't work out. I mean, I mean, hopefully um, that doesn't happen and it, the job works out. I'm really hoping so because it would just be amazing. It would just be amazing because it would be in the same location. I'd still get free food. I'd come in 30 minutes later. Still get paid the same, get health insurance, like, you know, <laughs> like, it's it's very, very nice, and so I'm hoping for the best that I can get it, that would be amazing, um, but yeah, so that's basically my week, I briefly touched on uh, my workouts, um, so I was doing it three, three times a day, I just broke it up into, like, different things, um, and then I thought, oh, well, I need to do a ton more push-ups, and I need to do a ton more sit-ups, and I need to go faster. So I pretty much, like, progressed my workouts, like, two months on every single lift. I was like, yeah, that'll be good. So I finished the first workout, but I'm so exhausted, I don't want to finish the last two. So I only did one workout yesterday, and it wasn't even a good one. It was good, but... I just can stay consistent with it. So I'm like, all right, I need to dial back down. I need to go back to what's working, you know. Um, so I might even work out today just one time and uh, try it again. But, yeah, so that, that's what's going on there. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's the weight loss or what, but I am noticing a little bit more tone in me, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, overall, a uh, very good week. A very good week. Um, I had a cheat day yesterday. I ate a ton of food. I ate a lot of tater tots, a lot of ice cream, a lot of, not a lot of alcohol, but some alcohol. Uh, it's called peach serums or something. It's pretty good. Um, what else I have? I had like a bunch of snack cakes. Pretty much, you name it, chicken patties. I had it, you know. Um, so yeah, overall, a very good week. Um, I'm excited for next week. I hope I have some very good news for you that I have a new job at the dream place. Um, so cross, cross your fingers for, for me, hope for me. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, I will see you next week.